These are all the materials that we're going to use in order to set up to hoop a cap for the Toyota embroidery machine. First piece we're going to have is our cap gauge. This gets attached to the machine in order to hold the hoop while we're hooping a hat. And we have our, our plastic block here. This will see into the cap gauge in order for it to adhere to the machine correctly. Next we'll have our cap hoop. And finally, our two binder clips to help secure the hat to the hoop frame. First off, we're going to attach the cap gauge to the workstation. We're going to take our plastic block, slide it up underneath the base, and slowly slide in the cap gauge and hand tighten using the wing nut. Remember, the cap gauge is heavy, so make sure that it's fully seated tightly to the machine before proceeding. Once that's done, we can take our cap hoop, slide it onto the gauge. Remember, your cap hoop will go on the gauge very similar to how it will go on the cap driver on the embroidery machine. Press down, slide in, and then disengage the band. Now we're going to take a hat Open it up. We want to pick up the sweatband, and the sweatband is going to go underneath this plate right here. Remember, we don't have to force it in or slide it all the way up against the back wall. We just need the sweatband to go underneath. Once we have that, we'll take the band. We're going to bring it in, grinding the teeth of the band right in to the bill of the hat. Bring down the right hand side we'll latch it shut. Now you notice once I've done this, my hat's not straight. We have a guide position here. It lets us know where our center point for our hat should be. Now a six panel cap is trying to measure up the middle seam on the cap with the line on the gauge. While the cap frame should be a little tight, we should have enough play in it to where we can just manually move it over and straighten up. Once this has been done, we're going to take binder clips. Now, I know the machine comes with small silver binder clips, but we prefer to use the big binder clips. And secure the hat to the post. And once this is done, we're ready to take it off. Now, this is a six panel structured cap. Structure means the front two panels of the inside of the hat have what's called buckram in this. This is a nice stabilizing surface on the back of the hat. This means we do not have to have backing with this type of cap. If this were a low profile unstructured cap where you just have loose fabric all the way around, that would require a heavier backing. We recommend a three and a quarter ounce backing for that. In order to install the cap driver on the Toyota 9100, we need to first take off the tubular arms. Once the tubular arms are taken off, all we have to do is take our cap driver and slide it in. Remember, we want to be very gentle when sliding this in, and we don't want to scuff or scratch the needle plate. Once everything is lined up, take a three millimeter Allen wrench and tighten down the bolts on either side. Once this has been done, all we have to do now is hand tighten the wing screws underneath. Once that's on, just push the pantograph back a little bit to line it up, and we're ready to go. To load the cap onto the cap driver after we've hooped it, what we need to do is rotate the cap 90 degrees to the left or to the right, slide it in, rotate it back up, remember the cap frame can only go on the driver one way. We're going to push down, slide in, and rotate our thumbs down towards the bottom, grabbing onto the back of the cap driver, and push. And you'll hear it snap in as a roller ball underneath that catches the bottom part of the hoop. Once that's done, it's always good to squeeze the tabs a little bit just to make sure that they firmly seat it in. If they did not, you hear a slight click as they go into place. Once that's on, we're ready to sew.